Hi everyone, my name is Ben Snow and I'm going to be presenting on my capstone research, scales in Cyanothus, an analysis of diaspid distribution in San Diego County. So when we think of insects, we usually think of the standard insect body plan, a head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, antennae, etc. Armored scale insects take this body plan and they kind of throw it out the window. Uh, armored scales belong to the order Hemiptera or the true bugs. And they usually have a very high host range of plants. Females are sedentary for the majority of their lives and the juveniles are dispersed via the wind. Both their generalist diet and their mode of dispersal can be contributing factors to speciation events. But which one is it? A particular host genus, Ceanothus, uh, has multiple species that are found throughout the mountain ranges of California. And according to ScaleNet, which is a database that tracks the host interactions and records collections of armored scales, only has 28 species of armored scale that are known associates of Ceanothus. This data is very necessary to understand the ecological dynamics of this host plant association. So in order to address this disparity, we conducted a large scale sampling of Ceanothus in the San Diego County. Based on the dispersal method of armored scales, which is via the wind, we hypothesized that geography is a factor in diaspid species diversification. However, based on the scales extremely generalist diet, we are also investigating the possibility of host-driven diversification. So what roles do both geography and host plants play in scale speciation? Also, what species of scale are we finding on the Cienothus of San Diego County? So in order to address both these questions, we collected about 15 branch samples per species of Cienothus throughout the San Diego County. In total, we had samplings of five different species of Ceanothus, which were Ceanothus palmeri, varicosis, crassifolius, leucodermis, and tomatosis. Here on the map, we can see the distribution of species across the county. Down here towards the coast, we collected Ceanothus varicosis. Up here towards Poway, we collected Ceanothus crassifolius, tomatosis, and leucodermis. And then up here in the top right, more towards Julian, uh, we collected Ceanothus palmeri. We bagged each branch sample individually and I examined them for scale insects. I removed the scale that was on the plant material and stored it until we were ready for photography and genetic analysis. Once I combed through all the samples, we photographed the scales on their habitus, extracted their genetic material and amplified it using PCR. Sanger sequencing will be used to sequence the DNA of the specimens, and we will conduct a genetic identification that will support our morphological identification. Once we map the distribution of discovered species, we will be able to perform statistical analyses like an ANOVA and a Tukey Kramer postdoc analysis to investigate whether geography or host plants play a role in, sp in scale speciation. So at this point in the project, we have finished our collections, our photography, extractions, and PCR amplifications on the 48 individuals that were collected. Soon, uh, the DNA will be sequenced and we will be able to run our statistical analyses like the one that, ones that I mentioned before. However, a preliminary analysis of the photography has allowed us to identify a number of scales that we collected from our, from our samples. Here in figure one, we can see that scales that were found on tomentosis included Aespidiotis nerii and Aenidomidalis cyanothi. Figure two are the scales that we found on Ceanothus varicosis, and preliminarily they were both identified as Hemibrelasia repox. Scales that we found on Leucodermis can be found in figure three. On the left, we have Aespidiotis nerii, and the scale that is pictured on the right was unable to be morphologically identified with confidence. We have the same story in figure four, uh, scales collected on Ceanothus crossifolius. On the left, we have Aspidiotis nerii, and the scale pictured on the right on it was unable to be morphologically identified with confidence. Down in figure five, we have the scales that were found on Ceanothus palmeri, sorry, some of the scales. Um, they were preliminarily identified as Hemibrelasia repox. After identifying these species, a quick survey of scale net showed that only two scale species 
have been entered as associates of Ceanothus palmeri, neither of them being Hemibrelasia, which is the species that we actually found on Ceanothus palmeri, excuse me. The rest of the Ceanothus species did not even have a host association recorded in the database. So after we finish our project, we will be able to make major contributions to the working scale database. Our data is going to be foundational for future studies on the armored scale distributions of California. I want to take a second to thoroughly thank my uh, mentor and advisor, uh, Jeff Morse, for helping me through this and for all of the species identifications and all of the help he's given me thus far. Thank you so much.